What's up guys, this is Void of Dust Gaming, your channel for fresh arena of valor content. After I've been to some holidays in the Netherlands where I pre-produced a lot of content that you have seen on my channel lately, I am back in Germany and I'm about to have a couple of videos coming up because I will have some free time to spare at the end of this week. So today's video is going to be featured on Tuesday and if you want to join the fight just ping me on discord because th i think thursday and friday will be the two days where i'm going to fight a lot on the battlefield today i want to focus on orma i've picked up northgard again a rts real-time strategy game that focuses around viking clans um, with a lot of fun that i enjoy playing a lot and because of that viking thing i find it quite suitable to feature Orma and I've got the Christmas skin for him and as Christmas is about to approach I think this is kind of like the stuff that we are going to see in the upcoming videos maybe Natalia for example with the Christmas skin as well so without further ado I want to show you the build that I've been playing on Orma as he is more sort of a warrior I've been focusing on a tank build in the armory in the item build as you can see I've picked the warrior enchantment, the uh, fire gem, and the rest of it is completely tweaked around all the lovely stuff that our tanks like. As the Aegis, we've got Gaia Standard in there, we've got uh, Mail of Pain. I've got Medallion of Troy in here because maybe sometimes you want to have two items for magic resistance, but I think I'm going to switch it for the uh, Shield of the Lost in the upcoming video. I'm not entirely sure about it because it's a little bit ago since I've played the build. But nonetheless, my Arcana build um, is tweaked about max HP. As you can see, I'm using my so-called AD tank build that is consisting of 10 times Indomitable. I've got 10 times Benevolence and because I like some armor pierce, I've thrown in um, Skewer here as well. Nothing surprising if you follow my channel a little bit and enchantment wise I decided to go with a little bit more offensive because I've got all the traits um, here. I wanted to have Devil's Awakening um, but the rest of it is pure utility. We've got Devour in there, we've got uh, here the Tower Blessing, we've got the Regrowth stuff and so I guess we've got more of sort of a tank build on the one side but we've got some warrior elements in here as well. So. Be prepared for the upcoming video because it's going to be a blast. I like playing Orma a lot because you can play him quite offensively. So let's start with the gameplay. So here we go and I need to tone down the voice, uh, the volume a little bit because otherwise I've got lots of gameplay music in here. It's quite surprising or kind of like um, a little bit uh, crazy that I don't really have any sound effects besides the clicking ping things in the loading screen or in the in-game screen but then all the normal game stuff applies so I don't really know what this is all about but uh, I checked it in the settings and I haven't found anything helpful in here. Um, I don't know what I did here that was a really 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 bad start I got hooked by Grug immediately and as you guys know a miss uh, Grab hook from Grug can basically ruin your day. Mistlicked is always by yourself, not by the Grug, because Grug hit me fairly well. And he did a good job on that, catching me off guard by surprise. And uh, yeah. Luckily, my team responded quite quickly, as you can see. Uh, or as you saw, Vera immediately turned towards the fight and helped us here. So she got first blood for that. Really, really nice. And my Talonas did a good job on following up the Wisp. So I traded one kill or one death on my side against two really important kills on our side. So Talonas got already one kill and Vera already got one kill. So good start, I guess, um, in total. And now we are back and get the next kill. So my team is really, really uh, turning towards the upper part of the battlefield. Um, just for completion, um, we've got, oh, I've got a kill here as well. So we've got uh, Fennec in the jungle, we've got Kildroth on the solo lane, we've got Talonas and I on the dual lane, we've got Vera who is in the middle, a special pick, I suppose. 
Uh, we've got Grog versus and and Wisp versus us on the duo lane. We've got Azanka. I don't really know what his deal is about. We've got Kira or Eva, how she's called in German, who is the enemy jungler. And uh, yeah, that is about it. Um, who else is there? There's someone missing in the enemy team, but I'm not entirely sure who it is because I do not see him on the battlefield so far. Um, I guess the enemy has got two mages, which is something that is okay-ish, like they can play with it. Oh, you have the Natalia. So Natalia is the last, the last pick. So they've got, basically they traded their warrior slash tank solo laner for another mage. Um, I guess that's fine because you can work around uh, Kilgroft if you play King Azenkai quite safely. So you're just going to use your abilities to try to um, make Kilgroth back off. And that should be all about that. Um, so I saw an opportunity to get Abyssal Dragon because, as you can see, Natalia and Grog are occupying the middle lane. We haven't seen Wisp in quite a while. And uh, my team helps me here getting the Abyssal Dragon. So first Abyssal Dragon is here for our team. And Wisp is only defending with Natalia trying to go in, but with the combined forces of me and the rest of the team, we are able to get another kill. And as you can see, it's already seven versus one in this short duration of the game. So I'm trying to I'm trying to be a little bit uh, nasty here, occupying the occupying the bush here. And uh, I just saw the opportunity to go in, secure the kill for my team, so that they might be able to push the tower. At least that was the idea behind that. And Vera is just so strong with her control effects that we even scored another kill. So it's 9 versus 2 already after not even 5 minutes played. I think that's a really good start for our team. Um... I went here with the cleansing because if you're fighting against Grog, that is the support item that you want to have because of course his ultimate is really annoying and it's quite powerful because if the positioning is right, Grog is able to just um, deal with most of your team and uh, the rest of the team won't be in any good shape afterwards. We would be in Azenkar, Grog and Natalia. Uh, so if they would be able to get all of us in the ult and then just unleash their spells, that would be quite devastating. And therefore, I think cleanse is a must. Um, another kill for me, unfortunately. You know, that's the problem with Orma. He's a little bit of a kill stealer because he's still quite powerful. Um, I don't know if you guys follow my channel on a regular basis, but I have already... Uh, shown that you can play Orma quite good on the solo lane. I don't know if that's true in the current meta, but I've done it a couple of months ago and it worked fairly well. So he's got the potential to deal with some of the duelists out there. Of course, he's not a match for uh, Omen or Florentino if the other player knows what to do. But all in all, he is a good warrior for himself without being a pure support and that makes him quite versatile. But I think I've never seen Orma outside the support role. I don't really see Orma at all in the normal game, so quite sad. I really like his aggressive playstyle with jumping in, using this kind of whirlwind thing here, um, jumping on the enemies, using all of your powers. And um, yeah, I got killed here, but it was I, I just bought my team enough time so that they can clear the tower. Okay, yeah, they did. Um, and I think like I'm I'm the person who is about to get most of the deaths in my team, but I just see myself as the support. I am there to back up my team, um, kind of like donating my health pool to their actions. So if I'm dead and the enemy focused me that means that my team is free to deal damage to the enemies and just make some good plays but as you can see the enemy team is still there like they still they still fight um 
of course they still got the win to or the will to win which is completely understandable after seven minutes so they have a little comeback because now it's 13 versus 7 and of course we now need to focus um, on getting more kills in and more towers because that's the, the problem if you get a really good start as we did with 9-2 at the beginning of the game it makes you a bit lazy uh, and of course that's a problem because if you become lazy you will make mistakes and mistakes are always the threat of losing the game because it just puts you in the position that you think like okay it doesn't really matter I can basically do whatever I want to and um, the enemy team will just lose the game and this is kind of crucial so I think I was lazy I think I was lazy in this scene as well so because there was some upcoming damage coming from Natalia and we've got Akira as an, a mage or magic damage based hero uh, on the enemy team. I decided to go with Medallion of Troy immediately after finishing my first two items. And uh, I think that's the right choice because they've got Azenkar, they've got Natalia, they've got Grog, they've got Kira. So we've got four sources of magic based damage and as I said I've got two items uh, with magic resistance in this build like pre-deployed. But of course you should always adapt the build to the enemy team composition. It doesn't help if you have just one plan and you always stick to that. And it doesn't matter what the enemy team does. You should always change your system to what is going to be needed in the game. Um, not really a big reveal here. But I just see sometimes players just stick to their, to their composition. And that's not really helpful at all. So we've got the Dark Slayer here, and the Dark Slayer is about to crush into the enemy tower, dealing some damage to the enemies, but he is dead right now. I mean, the whole fight was completely focusing around the middle lane. That's fine. Telenas got already eight kills. And uh, somehow I have out sustained, uh, outplayed Kilgroff here because. He is falling back in terms of the gold. But I think that these two kills should give him a nice boost. And Vera is here to clean up the pieces. It's just crazy how good this character is and how much damage you get from one single combo. If you can even call it a combo when you're pressing buttons and you're not moving at all. But I'm not the one to decide, because that is just how the character is designed. She's just all about pressing buttons and dealing massive amounts of damage to single targets and even uh, teams or grouped enemies if they stand too close to each other. Um, I don't know if you guys are interested in that, but I somehow or sometimes get the request if I can do some uh, tier list stuff I don't know if I am the right person to pick up or come up with a tier list but I started it and I think what I'm going to do because I don't want an uber length video with all the heroes and I don't think that that this is kind of going to help um, or show my view of the game uh, I decided to go with something which is basically focused on a role so i'm going with um, majors then i will pick the ad carries for example then i'm going with supports then i'm going with junglers so that we're going to have a video for each designated role and i think that is a little bit more convenient because the videos are actually going to be a lot shorter it's focused on one single thing and not all of them in one super big video where you guys are going to skip most of the parts anyways because you've got your favorite role and you just want to see okay what is void doing with Tulan? how is he ranking zata at the moment and stuff like that so i'm going to have one single video for each role and i think that's going to be snackable content that you can just view while eating a pizza as someone wrote me today i'm just going to watch the video f that you get you put up um featuring bright and i'm going to eat a pizza while doing so and this is going to be my chill out time so fair enough that is the idea behind my videos just pick them up while you eat something just watch the videos 
as you move and as you go on the train, on the way to your work, to school, to university, whatever you dare. Just have some good time, relax, check out my videos and enjoy yourself. That is my goal with this channel and with this tower that we just completely wrecked. So, we are a li little bit... Uh, no, we're completely equal in the tower game. So, uh, we've got the same amount of towers. And as you can see, the the kind of... Um, the kind of... Um, how am I going to say that? Like that little leap that we had at the beginning of the game with a lot of kills and the enemy got uh, just some of them completely vanished. Now it's... Oh my goodness, that was a mistake. So the enemy got 19 kills, we've got 25. Okay, we are building a little, a little advantage here as, again. But the enemy's got uh, the same amount of towers as we have. They've got basically the same amount of kills. Um, we've got one clear leader in terms of kills, which is telling us so she's going to be our carry in this game. But again, don't overestimate the kills. It's all about the towers and you always need to be careful and pay attention what the enemy team does in fact with all that tower business. Because now Kilgroth is dead. Uh, they can now start to damage the Dark Slayer. Dark Slayer has not respawned. Yes, the ping system is sometimes a little bit confusion, confusional, confusion, confusion, confu, fu, It's confusing. It's a little bit confusing because sometimes it's working completely fine, and the smart ping is is telling everyone what you wanted to tell on the exact manner, on the exact time, and sometimes it's just like, I'm going to take the middle lane. I'm like, well, the problem is that there are enemies in the middle lane. And that's what I wanted to ping. So my team already wants to surrender. I don't see any reason for that. 14 minutes played. Everything is still completely open. Um, it's a really nice intense back and forth game. And as I said, I'm going to build the Shield of the Lost. Uh, and now I am dead. Yes. Okay. If, you've, if, if you go in and they focus you and there's no one else... Uh, who's able to fight back, of course you are going to die. I wonder if the second magic resistance item would have been the better choice. Eventually. I guess, I guess eventually. So now Kilgoth does what Kilgoth can do really well if there is no wisp interrupting because Kilgoth is a really good split pusher and uh, he can do really well on that. I wonder what Fennec did this, this game, like he was falling behind in terms of the gold stacks here. As you can see I am on the 4th place and Fennec is on the 5th. So I wonder what this guy does with farming and this was the point where I decided I need a little bit more health. Like damage is overall not the most important thing and uh, I decided to switch from the fire gem to the earth gem. Just to give me a little bit more health for my pool. Of course, I'm going again with the cleansing. Uh, as I said, it's quite important. And um, I switched it immediately. And now I've got the time to build the last item. So that means that we are full build afterwards. And the uh, game is looking good so far. We've got another tower. Unfortunately, the enemies did not uh, leave their time wasted so they were pushing in on our towers as well and now we've got the dragon and the dragon is approaching the middle lane so it's important to focus on the middle lane right now so that we can use the force of the dragon to get into the tower range and deal some damage to the towers unfortunately we are getting completely divided here uh, which means that my team is about to lose not only the dragon but also their lives. Wisp is trying to follow up but what Kilgroth and Fennec were doing quite well in combination is here to press for the solar tower and they did it and this gives us the opportunity to get the first super minions in the game. Uh, we even got a kill on Natalia so while I was wondering what Fennec was doing all game long now he just 
showed that he knows what to do. Get for, uh, get in, try to get the weaker side and push that thing with full force. I need to go back right now because I am on really low health. Uh, it's quite important for me to get back. Mm, what I'm doing right now. Okay, the, the shield of the lost plan is still up. I think it was the wrong choice. Um, in hindsight, that's not the important thing that I should have picked. So Kilgroth is on the heels of Azankar. Unfortunately, Wisp joins in. I don't think that he can fight both of them. Uh, yeah, as I said. He c oh, he's back. Uh, so we killed Kira. Quite important kill, I, I suppose. Because Kira is a force to reckon with. She is super stealthy. She's super sneaky. And uh, I just make room for my team so that they can now try to... Oh my god, she missed her shot. But she gets this kill and another one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> As I said, an advantage is only an advantage if you can maintain it. So now it's already... 32 versus 32 kills. Are we going to win this game? I'm not entirely sure about it. Um, I mean, I sometimes I just do forget stuff. Uh, but this looks really, really good. So Fennec completely backdoored the enemy team. And here we go. We won the game. So while I was questioning his actions at the beginning of the game, because I thought that he... I, I've never seen him on the top lane. But it doesn't matter because he had the right intuition. He went straight in for the t for the tower spreading, and we got the game. Fair enough. So, um, as a verdict, I th still think Orma is quite fun to play. Of course, he's not the strongest support out there. Um, I made a couple of mistakes, as you can see. My result being six point zero isn't the best of my team. Uh, in fact, it's not the best, but. Um, I'm fine with that. We won the game. That's everything that counts. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Come back for more in two days because then there's going to be another video. I think it's going to be your gameplay, my review. And uh, have a pleasant evening. Thanks. Bye-bye.